Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to sit down today and film a clothing and accessories haul. I've accumulated all these pieces over the past season for the warm weather months. Everything that's still available, as always, I will link below in the description box so you guys can twin with me. I'm also gonna be trying everything on and showing you guys how I style these pieces. So I think the way I wanna break this haul up is by category, so I'll show you guys all the tops that I got first first top I have to show y'all is from Amazon I got this at a really great deal I think it was like between 10 and 15 dollars but I'm really into this trend where it kind of looks like the shirt is inside out and you can see the unfinished seams and the stitching I think it looks super super cool but I am always in need of a good neutral top I know this is like black and white so it's on the darker side but I'm thinking it's gonna look super cute with a lot of fun colorful floral bottoms a good neutral top is a must and i think this one is super cute super flattering as well the next top i got from shein again another great deal i'm pretty sure this was under ten dollars but i just love this crochet i've been seeing this everywhere this season and i love the multicolor, but also the fact that it has black in it so it's gonna literally match everything i'm picturing this with a lot of denim these next few months as well as just like black skirts and shorts and bottoms some black linen pants was how i was imagining styling this but it would also make a really cute swim cover up too like if you had denim bottoms on and then the top over your swim top super cute and you look a lot more pulled together the next top i got is from asos it is this chenille knit kind of sweater vest and i love this material chenille is one of my favorite materials to wear i got this specifically to wear with a skirt that i will show y'all a bit later in the haul but i just really love this color and in the same purple family i got this top from urban outfitters i love the puffy sleeves i think it's super cute i got this to wear with neutral bottoms as well i feel like i just don't really have a ton of blouses so that's why i picked this one up i really just liked the style and the color the neckline is so so flattering and although it's long sleeve it is very lightweight and it's good if there's like a breezy night or a cooler spring slash summer day this is the perfect top to wear for that the next top i always like to show these tops even though it's not like the most fashionable thing i love loungewear it's basically what i live in all the time and this is just great for running errands i'm always on the hunt for like cute loungewear so i got this from sunkissed coconut it's one of those brands you've probably seen all over instagram but they just have really cute t-shirts like this that say a bunch of different states and cities and even countries i particularly liked the hawaii one i didn't have a yellow t-shirt and i thought the yellow would go with a lot of athletic bottoms and just be really cute to wear in summer okay i have a couple rompers that i will show y'all next this is a terry cloth more like a swimsuit cover-up that I got from Cotton On. I just think the color is so fun. I'm not a pink girl at all. I say this all the time, yet somehow I end up finding all these pink pieces that I really love. I just think this is super cute. It has a really cute floral print all over it. And I love the button front. It's kind of like a 60s, 70s style. I'm always on the hunt for a swim cover-up that will actually work as like an outfit to wear out in public because a lot of my swim cover-ups are not covering up much so I can't like do a grocery run or go out to lunch real quick if I'm at the pool or at the beach or whatever it may be but with this you totally can. This next romper I got from ASOS. I got this for the bachelorette party I went to in Palm Beach so you might have seen it if you watched that vlog or if you follow me on Instagram, this is the perfect brunch outfit, which is actually what I wore it to that weekend. Palm Beach is very like preppy pink and green, so I was trying to find something that fit those categories, and this definitely did, and it's definitely my style. I'm not like the biggest preppy pink and green kind of gal, but this was super flattering. I love the neckline, sometimes with like a deep cut like this I feel like I'm falling out of it but I felt very secure in this one the buttons and the ruffles are so pretty and then it has the cutout in the back this next dress I also got for the same bachelorette party in Palm Beach this one's from Princess Polly I wore it on the night we went out and it was just so easy to like throw on and you look 
dressed up enough but not like too ott the halter neck is so flattering the colors are beautiful i love this blue and green and the ombre effect and it might be kind of hard to tell on camera but it has silver detailing throughout it so it looks so great paired with silver accessories this would look great more dressed up with like a silver heel but i happen to have a blue mule in the same color as this blue in the dress and that is one of my favorite fashion tips if you have an accessory and a unique color i think it makes an outfit look 20 times more elevated and like you put way more effort in than you really did so that was such a fun look for the night out also this dress is fully lined all the way throughout so you don't have to worry about whatever you're wearing underneath showing through which can definitely be a concern especially like going out i felt fully covered and this dress was so fun to dance in and didn't get too hot in it because it's just so lightweight and easy to throw on this next dress i actually saw on an instagram ad it was one of the ads that pop up between people's stories and it is from verge girl i am obsessed with this dress if you follow them on social media you might have seen this dress like absolutely everywhere as soon as i swiped up to buy it it was sold out so i signed up for the restock notifications and luckily it did come back in stock in my size but unfortunately it didn't come in time for the event i wanted to wear it for which was my friends rehearsal dinner but I actually haven't even tried this one on yet so I'm hoping that it fits me and works out it looks a little bit on the sheer side it's very thin but that could be a good thing because it's very lightweight and perfect for the hot summer days I feel like if you're going on a trip to Europe this summer lucky you but this would be so perfect to wear in Europe and take the cutest pictures I just love this on the website they styled this a bunch of different ways they styled it with some like dainty feminine heels but also one girl was wearing it with sneakers and a leather jacket over it so I really like how this can go both ways and be super girly and feminine and dressy but also you can make it kind of grungy so I'm just in love with the print and the colors it honestly just like took my breath away when I saw it I thought it was one of the most beautiful dresses I've seen in a long, long time. I feel like Verge Girl just does not miss. So because that Verge Girl dress didn't come in time, I had to find a backup to wear to my friend's rehearsal dinner. So this was the dress I ended up wearing, and I actually really love it. It's from Lulu's. I'm not a pink girl, so I like that this is a really subtle pink, and it's a very like, fun tropical print. It was perfect. We were in Charleston, so very beachy vibes, but it's also, like again, not in your face. It's very subtle and muted this dress is super super flattering it's more form-fitting up top and it is midi length and so the bottom like ruffles out really pretty and the back cuts out you have two ties so just very flattering from all angles i feel like it would look so good on so many different body types as well also again throwing in my secret fashion tip i just happen to have light pink heels that i think i got from lulu's a few years ago and it made this outfit just 20 million times better than it would have been if i had worn just like a neutral heel of course this would look great with whatever color heel you may choose to wear with it but i think it's so fun to pair accessories and unexpected colors to make your outfit look so much more pulled together and like you put way more effort in than you actually did that is my favorite fashion tip that i wanted to pass along but yeah, this one was a hit. Everyone at the rehearsal dinner loved it. I feel like if I was a wedding guest and not in the wedding, I could have totally worn this to the wedding. It's a perfect dress for a wedding guest. If you have an event like that coming up over the next few months, I think this would work great for it, especially if it's at the beach. Okay, and then I have one skirt to show y'all, the last clothing item of the haul before we move into accessories. This zebra midi skirt is from asos i bought this to wear with that chenille lilac sweater vest that i showed y'all earlier in the haul i feel like zebra goes really well with purple and lime green those are my two favorite colors to wear with it and i feel like zebra for summer and spring is just like a great neutral this is going to go great with not just purple and green but so many different colorful tops 
and I love the midi length. I feel like it's just so flowy and fun to wear, super lightweight for the hot months. I'm obsessed with zebra print. That was it for clothing, so moving into accessories, I got this lime green bucket hat from Princess Polly. This is so cute. I bought this initially to wear with that pink cotton on swim cover-up slash romper. I think that's gonna make the cutest outfit for the beach this summer. I love styling it the 90s way where you like just fold up the top, but you could totally just like wear it all the way around and get good sun protection when you're at the beach or the pool. I mean, this is just so cute. Like there's no denying how freaking cute that is. Again, giving me kind of like 70s vibes. So I'm obsessed with that one. I will forever be a bucket hat girl. And the last thing I have to show y'all, I actually bought this last weekend in person at Urban Outfitters when I was in Charleston. I don't have an Urban Outfitters nearby, so whenever I get the opportunity to shop there in person, I love to go in and just see how they style everything. I literally could buy everything in Urban Outfitters. So this bag I actually put on my Christmas list to my mom when she was asking for stuff that I wanted and she told me it actually had sold out before she got a chance to buy it. So I've been searching all over Etsy and just everywhere for a Ying Yang bag because I feel like it's really fun design wise. I love the crochet and I love that it's black and white because it obviously goes with everything and I just wasn't finding any that I loved as much as the one from Urban that I had asked for for Christmas. And I was so excited when I went back in the store and saw that they had the exact one back in stock. So I snatched it up. It was kind of on the pricey side. It was like 50 bucks, but I know I'm going to get a ton of wear out of this. I just love a good crochet tote style bag. I've been favoring that way more than like a traditional purse. So this is something that you're going to see me carrying all the time for years to come okay guys that was everything i had to show y'all so that's going to conclude the haul i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up i hope you will stick around by hitting the red subscribe button down below it really helps out my channel and i would love to have you guys here thank you again so so much for watching i'll see you guys so soon in my next video bye